Hey everybody, T1 Glistener Elf here. I'm going to be playing in another Vintage Untap Open League, this time not on Infect. Not only not on Infect, but not even Infect adjacent. This is a Lurus deck. This is Mono White Hate Bears, I guess, sure. The, the usual suspects. We have like, Mother of Runes, Thalia Card of Thraven, for instance. So it starts looking like Death and Taxes. And then we have weird cards like Kataki Wars Wedge. So, I'll just I'll do a quick little run through for all of my all the cards here. Mother of Runes gives protection from a color of my choice to a creature I control till end of turn. Kataki is a legendary one that puts an upkeep cost of one on all artifacts, mine included. But we usually care more about our opponents. Uh, Leon and Arbiter tells our tell, we can't search libraries unless we pay two. In a low to the ground mana format like this, hopefully that means that it'll be shutting down a good bit. Plus, it shuts down uh, D tutor V tutor that sort of thing. Uh, Leonin Relic Warder exiles an artifact or enchantment, so it's something I can use against Oath or Shops, which is what we're up against today. Phyrexian Revoker shuts down miscellaneous cards, no color requirement, Remorseful Cleric exiles graveyards, we can loop it with Lurus, which is always fun. Spirit of the Labyrinth tells them that they can't draw more than one card each turn, so Ancestral Recall is draw a card. It's a little more balanced that way, a little bit. Uh, Thalia makes them more expensive. A Black Lotus, Lotus Petal, Mox, Emerald, Jet, Pearl, Ruby, Sapphire, so all the mana. And then we have Chalice of the Void and Thorn of Amethyst for Hate Bear, or Hate Pieces. This one is Thalia, but on an artifact, and it's restricted. And this is counter all spells either 0 or 1. Those are the only cost I'll realistically be putting it on. Uh, Deafening Silence to make it where they can't cast more than one non-creature each turn. It's symmetrical, but obviously we don't care for the most part with our 29 creatures. Stony Silence for artif uh, Artifacts Activated Abilities. Uh, Path to Exile, because Leon and Arbiter, and we need something against Oath some, from time to time. 19 lands, but again a bunch of Moxen. So we have Flagstones of Trocare, which lets us target our own land with Ghost Quarter if we need the White White. Uh, for So if we have fl Ghost Quarter Flagstones, we can target Flagstone to get two planes out, and that gives us White White for Relic Warder. Uh, two Caracas, nine snow-covered planes, because Wasteland is a card. You do have to worry about that in this matchup in particular. Strip Mine, Wasteland, and then Lurus, which I'll have to reveal at the beginning here. And then sideboard is uh, four, uh, three Deafening Silence, those so are the remaining three. Three Path to Exile, an additional uh, removal spell in Swords to Plowshares. It just gets to be path number five. This is one of the weird instances where, thanks to Leon and Arbiter, we actually kind of want it to be path instead of swords much of the time. Well, much of the time. If we're hitting big stuff like Grizzlebrand and giving them an extra seven, it might matter if it's swords. Containment Priest for Oath and Dredge. Uh, Kataki Wars Wage as an, a, an additional copy for Shops, so that'll be coming in. To Rest in Peace, to Stony Silence. Uh, so we will be bringing in Kataki Stony Silence, and Player Draw will determine how many other spells we bring in. Uh, but for right now, our opponent is, and by the way, that was a list on Scryfall, what the heck is this ad? This looks like the easiest game in all of existence. Okay, we're, we're getting a little distracted. All right, so Ravager Shops, which means it's running Artbound Ravager. Shoutouts to this dinosaur Ravager. Okay, thank you. I got to make something else. Uh, but we're also, they're also running Stone Coil Serpent. Walking Blista, so X spells, X artifact creatures, so they'll get really big really quickly in a deck like this. They scale with the amount of mana they make, which is a lot. Uh, for Ar or Phyrexian Revoker, Arcbound Revoker. Uh, four Crystalline Giant, interesting. Uh, one Lodestone Golem, and all of the hate pieces. All of it. The There's cranial plating. I am here for it. I think it's weird why, it, why it's cranial plating over something like Skull Clamp, but it works. I mean, it gets awfully huge. <laughs> um, yeah, so there we go. Fleet Will Cruiser. Okay, so this partially explains why there's so few creatures. This is a creature. 4 mana, 5-3, Trample Haste. It becomes an artifact creature when it enters until end of turn, and then from then on you just crew it for 2. So that's pretty good. Vintage is a format where Slash Panther used to get played, so a 5-3, that's pretty good too. Uh, Mystic Forge, Sky Sovereign. Also, kind of a creature. So this is a crew version of it, I suppose. And as a sea, as a sea shanty fan, I, I'm down for that. So the usual, you're always going to have four Ancient Tomb, four Mishra's Workshop, Strip Mine, Talion Academy, Wasteland. Instead of having the one Inventor's Fair, it's just three Mishra's Factory. I'm not sure what I think about that, but Mishra's Factory, you, you want to have some number of land creatures. And these are artifacts as well, so it works. That matters for Ravager, of course. 
Uh, Cyborg is Grafdigger's Cage, Pithing Needle, Cranial Plating, Ratchet Bomb, Ravenous Trap, Worm Coil Engine. We're expecting Worm Coil and Ratchet Bomb to come down, and we're not particularly pleased with either of those when they do. Uh, but that said, uh, oh, yeah, 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 let's, let's actually do stuff. Oh. Luris is my companion. FYI. Since that has to be announced. Alright, just, you do what you gotta do. Alright, so then we will shuffle, and draw 7, which I think is D7? Let me check the hotkeys, just to make absolutely sure I don't... Oh wait, C7, or 7C, there we go. So we can click in here and go 7C. Hey, A little too low there, bud. There we go. Alright, cool. Uh, wasteland, Relic Warder. Alright, so already we see that we don't have the second white, but... We have Turn 1 Thalia and Spirit of the Labyrinth. We, we definitely want Thalia. Oh, and we're on the play. Heck yeah. Oh, one million percent. Heck yeah. Alright, so we will go Turn 1 Caracas. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. And then, so this will hopefully slow them down a decent bit. And pass. So it makes their non-creatures cost more. Outside of Walking Ballista, and there's, I mean, Walking Ballista, of course, they'll be fine. They can go Mishra's Workshop into pay three, get a Walking Ballista out, and then they can shoot Thalia and go from there. Or they could just have Ancient Tomb. That could do it. Uh, Sapphire. All right, so one floating. Yep. <laughs> we know the other's deck. We know that we don't have any responses here. Phyrexian Revoker. Uh, I'm gonna say, nope, no, no problem, no problem with that. Gee, I wonder what they're naming. I wonder if it's Mox Ruby, okay. Well, that's a little unfortunate. I'm gonna scoot this way over here. <laughs> uh, let's see, for draw, there we go. <laughs> way <laughs> over there. <laughs> so that I don't accidentally do it. I, I will, knowing me. <laughs> I, I would be worried. Alright, so we're gonna save the, uh, the Ghost Quarter. Or I, I guess it doesn't really matter, but we could turn it on ourselves if we get Flagstone. Though, if we get Flagstone, we have our second white anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So, play the land. Uh, go to combat. Let's not pass the turn, please. Uh, hi -ya. hi -ya. Alright, did they take they took it? Okay, cool. Main two. <laughs> uh no, 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 no. Uh let's go for how do I there we go, target source. Beep! That one. That's the one. And graveyard. That better not be exile. Okay, cool. And then we pass the turn. Hopefully that worked out correctly. I'm not sure that that was correct. We'll see what other mana they have. If they let off the Ancient Tomb instead of the Workshop, it tells me that they don't have a Workshop. Or, it could be that they were playing around my gratuitous amounts of uh, land destruction. Land-based land destruction. Alright, so I took it. Please pass. Please don't do anything else. Please don't do anything else. Now, they lack artifacts like Traxos, or... Well, we wouldn't want to give them Golos back any... Aha! Alright, what's going on? Three. Ooh, sphere. Uh, yep, that's good. Alright, past, past the turn. Uh, untap. There it goes. Duro. Well, since we can't cast something anyway, we do have to be a little bit careful. We're winning on board, though. Hmm. There is a there is a cheeky side of me. I hope not for your sake. Uh up <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother targeting it. <laughs> I'm just gonna drag it over. Alright. I think they can see that. Yeah, 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 they can. And I know I know their list, they don't have any basics. Uh so Hiya! We are, we are ahead on board. They have one mana that they can't use for anything right now. Alright. And then pass. 
And my creature has first strike, so they can't even put it on defense. That said, I just left myself with only Thalia. So, you know, even if I get a Mox, I can't cast it. Because the Mox will cost two more. One plus one. One from Sphere, one from Thalia. So I actually do need a land. And I did just mess myself up there potentially, but I'm a little worried about them uh, having... If I don't do that, they'll have bigger stuff. And I can't cast another card in hand anyway, so bird in the hand, right? Okay, so there's two mana. Alright, uh, this is combat. Take two. Boop. Oh, hit my Caracas. I dare you. I dare you. Do it. Just do it! Okay. Not yet, they won't. Oh, we gotta land. Alright. Boop! Alright. See if they take it. Alright. They took it. Main two. Play the land. And pass the turn. As you do. So Wasteland can knock me off Caracas. And if they get ahead by enough, then they'll be okay to do that. Coffee. I can already tell I'm going to need it. Sounds like a haunted house with a creaking back here. I could just sit up straight, but one, that kind of cuts me off a little bit. Well, we can scoot back a bit. Uh, it's okay. It's not too bad. Alright. So, oh, they're attacking me. Oops. There we go. Gotta take it. Alright, they, they said two. Yeah, I was a little slow on that. Woo! Alright, what you got? Oh, no. That's a strip mine. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ravager. Oh. Mmm. Yeah, that, that's, that's bad. Please, land. Ah. Oh. Okay, well, it could be worse. It could be worse. Mm-hmm. Oh, also, Mother Runes does not protect me in this matchup. If I attack here, I can force them to sacrifice something. It might even be I it might even be better to do that. I'll I'll wait for them to. Wait for them to do it. I don't need to pull the trigger just yet. If I can get one more land, I can play a relic order. And then we can try that actually no, that might work out. If I attack and let them block with a Ravager, it doesn't matter. They're about to play something else. Is it another one? It's a stone coil serpent. X equals two. Yep, okay, they got there. This is this is not looking good, folks. Okay. Whale. <laughs> well, <laughs> Uh, huh. If I attack, they just let it through. There's there's no way they don't just let this through. But we'll make them do it. We'll make them do it, at least. Hum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to be silly. Yeah, look at that life total. Gee, I wonder, could this possibly be a trick? I don't know. By the way, this is until it leaves the battlefield. So they could get it back if they find like a walking blista, and I can't use it for chump blocking. Uh, Exodia. <laughs> it's open deck list, so we can actually look. First experience with Vintage Y'all. Oh, no worries. 
Everyone starts somewhere. Uh, actually, if I'm not mistaken, I think you actually asked in the vintage chat for the, the Discord server. By the way, join the Untap Open Links Discord server. Uh, I think you actually asked what deck you should play, and I recommended shops. I wasn't the only one, but yeah, I guess you could have Path, but that would be rough. Yeah, Path would be kind of... Oh, wait, no, they don't know it, but I actually can't cast Path here. Because I can't use the Mox Ruby. I can't... If I could use Mox Ruby, I could cast Path. But I'm actually one mana shy now. So by not playing the land yet, they should be able to see Thalia, Sphere of Resistance. Can't do it. Okay. Alright, so it, it didn't matter. They, they got there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, let's do this correctly. Go to main two. Alright. Badoop. 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 Badoop, badoop, badoop. Yeah, good times. Alright, so obviously we have to target the Ravager first. Oh, they have a response. Oh, yeah, I, I guess I should have waited until they uh, say it resolves, but it's shop, so I, I just assumed it would go through. Sack it. Yup. Yup, alright. Moved it uh, straight on to Stone Coil. Okay, so now we don't have to worry about letting this thing block. It, it, can, it can die for all, we, for all we care at this point. Uh, but that's interesting. They didn't put anything more into it. Uh, hmm. I mean, I could have seen a world where they dropped the Sapphire into it, but I also don't know the contents of their hand. Uh, hmm, I don't know. It would be just their luck if they had a, a Lodestone Golem that were just chilling out there, waiting to be cast. Once they know they're ahead on board, they can act- Oh! Whale! So even if we take something, they can shoot it with Ballista. Alright, what you got? I could play a... <laughs> I could spend two mana on a Mox Emerald to make one mana. Somehow I don't think that's ideal. Somehow. I have a sneaking suspicion that's not where we want to be. Uh, well, attacking with Thalia here doesn't do anything. There's no longer any incentive that they have to dump everything into it. So... Just do it now, I guess? We could try to loop Thalia, but that takes so much mana. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have enough mana to do it every turn. Boop! Get you! Uh, protection for multicolored. You are not multicolored, my guy. And... Hiya! Uh... <laughs> wait, wait, thinking. Not done yet. Yeah, um, okay. We can attack with Mom here, too. Bearing in mind that Mom doesn't actually do anything for us. We can hit for five. That might even... That might even make a difference. Yeah, she, do, she does actual factual nothing exer, except serve as a one-mana one line. Alright, so, swing five. That's the, the way that we confirm on here that I am... Uh, that's like saying final answer. Uh, S5 is swing 5. I have made up my mind. Alright. So both of them are 1-1s, one and they... Or not 1-1s, one one toughness creatures. They have a 2-1 in Phyrexian Revoker. And uh, Thalia could die here. They could shoot Thalia. Let's save them a point. Since I got rid of uh, Krakus already, I can't save her, but that's okay. Take three, presumably? Yep, taking three. Alright, and then uh, main two, and pass. Well, that means that the Relic Warder gets to stay. Uh, you know what, just, I'll, I'll put a note in here just to make sure. Uh, I'm lazy. <laughs> SS. Stone Coil... Scumbag. 
There we go. Now I'm just being cheeky. Or I'm trying for it anyway. Alright. So their turn. They're definitely not... Uh, we're not out of the woods yet. There's a jet. Oh, now that they don't have the Ravager. Oh, that, that stinks. This would have been a fine time for it, too. Alright. Oh, they... Well, okay. They're... Respond... You, you can't normally respond to a... What's up? Should have wastelanded in upkeep. Oh! Go for it. Boop! <laughs> I don't mind. Uh, float colorless and then just let it wither away. Alright. There we go. <laughs> the, the better to sort my lands. Let's go with that. Alright, so that actually does make a little bit of a difference. Uh, because now I don't have enough mana, I have to spend two to play the Emerald. And if I do that because of Sphere, I won't also be able to play a Spirit. Uh, so we don't want to attack with this one. Unfortunately. So attack with these. They'll get... Oh, wait a minute! Whoa! Whoa! What? No, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, it's too light. If this, if this, that's, that's a little too light. I'm trying to imagine if this were me playing in paper, would I have taken my hands off the cards yet? And I think that the answer is probably yes. But if I attack with the Leonin Relic Warder, even if they kill it, they, uh, that's fine because they end up losing their, uh, their, their Stone Cold Serpent when it enters anyway. It enters as a 0-0. Zero, zero. Oops! Oops! Oh! Alright. Nothing was on that one, thanks to Ravager. Yeah. Alright, so they take one. Main two. Okay, so now we get to play the Mox Ruby. Or we get to use the Mox Ruby. We can go... 1, 2... Mox Ruby. 1, 2, 3... Spirit. But that's actually probably a little cute. We can just go... 1, 2, 3... Spirit. And then... Target... I mean, they're just gonna fire right back, so this doesn't do that much. Uh, but we want to take them off of as much mana as... Aha! Uh, play another. Alright, they... Yeah, we got there. Waiting to see... Didn't you suggest it to me? Why Why is it going to be an option? Okay, sideboard time. Uh, where's sideboard? How do we do this again? Oh yeah, we have to... Uh, not scoop... Uh, is it scoop deck? How do we do this? Scoop deck? Here we go. Okay. Hey. Okay. So let's go for the. Let's put the auto includes in real quick. We put in the second Kataki. We put in. Where'd you go? Stony Silence times two. Let's see. What else was there? It was second Kataki, Stony Silence. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, then we were going to start, then we were just going to start putting in, uh, removal. Since we're on the draw, a deafening silence is not fantastic. In fact, it's coming out. That's definitely a play draw, uh, card. Um, now, beyond that, Mother of Runes does negative nothing in this matchup. So we want to be careful about having too many of her. Now, we go and put in you... You, you, and swords. 
right down here. And then we have two more to take out. So we took out all the moms. A remorseful cleric at least flies in as a 2 1, so we'll keep that around in any case. Um, let's see. We put in seven cards, we took out five. What's left to go? What's left? Now, I should remember, because um, I, I planned this out beforehand for what I was going to do to this. Uh, we still want to keep our land count pretty high. We can't take out the Relic Warriors. Um, I I think that Revoker has to stay because it hits, they have activated abilities off of uh, Ballista, which they can't use Ballista to kill Revoker in response. This isn't a trigger. Um, it's as it enters the battlefield, not when it enters. It might actually be Remorseful Cleric. Uh, Spirit, oh wait, 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 Spirit of the Labyrinth. It's a 3-1 on the ground. 3-1. That kills Lodestone Golem, though, so we want to keep that around. We do. Thorn is still worth keeping in. Okay, so we're going to take out a couple of Remorseful Clerics. It does mean our count went down somewhat. Yeah, that's, that's a problem, but we'll make it work. To be fair, having more creatures on the ground isn't as big of a deal when we are killing them. Uh, I, I did cut my creature count down a decent bit, though, so maybe we'll make it work. All right, it shuffles for me, thank goodness. Okay, okay, right. seven draw. Oh, okay. Ooh, chalice. Oh, that's that's one I could have taken out. That's right. For the same reason, that's a play draw card. You put it in on the play, you take it out on the draw. They're gonna get all their zero drops out before chalice can matter. Uh, they're also a chalice deck themselves, so. That could have gone better. Also, Leonian Arbiter doesn't do very much. Since they're not running Adventures Fair, I don't guess it does anything in the matchup, actually. Uh, yeah. It's still... Yeah, so that means Remorseful Cleric would have been better. Okay, well then, we, we may have messed ourselves up a bit. But it has double path, so we'll keep. Keep All right. And may the best creature deck win. <laughs> I love how this is kind of two Hate Bears decks, but one is colorless and the other is uh, very much not. Alright, let's see what they have going on. Oh. Still. Lyris. Of course. Alright. So let's go... Draw? You know, because it, it, it totally matters. That's a strip mine, which can hit this plains. So, I'm not actually sure how we want to go through this, go about this. I guess we could bait them into using the strip mine early and then have Caracas. Uh, let's try it. Boop! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> yep, we're just doing our thing. That's all. Just doing our thing. <laughs> Alright. How about, uh, get our 2-1. Get our 2-1 down. <laughs> okay, that's good. And then... Chalice. In case it's not obvious, I'll say X equals zero. Add no, nope, add counter, add a zero. I said zero. There we go. There we go. And then le pass. All right, strip mine. Do it. Oh wait, they're gonna do it now. <laughs> uh, him. There we go. <laughs> All right. I don't know why I'm building this little. Tank. Like, here's the turret, I guess. Here's the cannon. <laughs> Alright. Now, they should have... Yeah, so they went first. Yeah, they have, they drew already. Oh, also, I can see it from here. Uh, I'm not sure if they're thinking. I don't want to make it... Okay. I didn't want to make it sound like I was being rude. Aha! A workshop. 
Okay. Well, Chalice probably doesn't do anything, unless they just happen to draw into Moxon. Ooh, okay. Alright. Hmm. I guess we'll just go to combat here. Hiya! Alright. And then pass. No, we can't play Moxborough because of Chalice. I'm a genius, folks. I'm a genius. What I would do to have that be a remorseful cleric instead here, that would be fantastic. Uh oh, and there's a wasteland. Uh oh. Three mana, a uh, four minus one from Sphere. Oh, what could it be? Oh, it may have Lodestone and can't cast it. Oh, wait, it's Revoker. Okay. Uh. Wait, wait, wait. Alert! 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 Float blue white. Alright. Okay. That way, if they name Mock Sapphire, I'll still have it. Alright, Mock Sapphire. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh. Boop. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I got one! I got one down! Alright, and that's why we do it that way. So using the mana that floated, white, and then I had to spend extra, so there's blue. Alright, so killing the Caracas. Blowing that up. Alright, there we go. Now it should still be my turn. Alright, I'm assuming there's nothing else they can do, right? Well, we can't cast it, so, uh, hiya! Hit him for two. Or at least that's the plan. That's the plan, man. And then... Pass. Woo! There. Show all the, show all the chat. Uh, well... I mean, it could be going better. Oh, there's a land creature. There's a land folk. <laughs> <laughs> no! You stop that! You stop that right now. Alright, we're gonna... We're going to wait to fire this thing. Uh, no response. Go to combat trigger. How do we do this? Uh, 1 to 10 in written order. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Flying, first strike, death touch, hexproof, lifelink, menace, reach, trample, vigilance, and plus and plus one. Alright, so now it has flying. It has fling. Uh, oops. It happens. Also, I just had it in all caps. It happens. Now yeah, shovel. That'll work. That'll do. Alright. EOT. We could kill this thing with fire, the blazing vengeance, but in, in order to do that, we'd have to be giving up our uh, path. So I, I'm going to wait. Alright, go to my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Chalice, you jerk! You jerk! Oh no! Oh no! What I would what I would do to have that be a remorseful cleric now? Oh no! Get my uh, channel my inner Joseph Joestar. Oh no! Bop. There we go. Well. We're in trouble, because that's a 2-2 two -two to block our 2-1. We may not get to do this for too many more times. Mm -hmm. yeah, we're just going to pass it right along. Whale. Whale. <laughs> Mox, why? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, uh, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's a workshop. Okay, it's not an ancient team, it's a workshop. 
that's right. This this weird art made me think it was an ancient tomb for some reason. All right, we're we're good to go. We're good. Ah, oh, well, okay. Which one is that? Flying, first strike, death touch, hexproof, lifelink, menace, reach. Okay, the the most important of all types on this. Reach poggers. <laughs> I need to have a, uh, a a pog emote in the champ or in the chat in the Discord chat. All right, what do we get? <laughs> Ripperino, Ripperino. So I was having a discussion with somebody in uh, my Discord about why this doesn't have re or haste. Well, haste seems like it'd be the most qualitatively different from all these. It just, it turns it into a creature. If the theme is that it can't attack on the turn that it comes out, but it gets to do, it gets to be a built-in Voltron creature, haste is one that would break that. The reasoning by Rukulin, uh, yeah. Roll again if that happens. Uh, sure. Uh, is that haste only matters on the first turn, which normally is true, except that there are cards, there's one in particular, Ginger Brute, for which it actually does matter in standard. But the vast majority of the time, Ruklin is right about that. Alright, four. Reach Hexproof. No path. Whale! <laughs> oops, oops. There we go. Whale. Hmm, I guess I'll take three. Uh, now they, they do have a creature held back though, in the in the land. Ah! Never mind, no they don't. Oh they don't, because Mishra's workshop! Oh no! Oh no! Alright. Uh well. Play it out. You win zero percent of the games where you can see. So, uh, yeah, no. Yeah, no. Just play it out. Oh, what I would do! What I would do! <laughs> Remorseful, uh, Relic Warder, rather, would have liked to take that Crystalline Giant, uh, and then we'd be able to hold them back a turn on the Blista until they had the mana to make it on two. Womp womp boat noises. <laughs> uh... Rolling on the river. Rolling on to river. Rolling on the river. There we go. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it here. I'm gonna say that's enough. <laughs> I think I've I think I've had it. I think maybe. Yeah, let's play another. Heck yeah, let's play another. Uh, keep existing open sideboard. There we go. Also, it might have been g good to report the game. Okay, so Chalice stays. As much as I, I hated you that time around, you, you will matter coming up. Uh, no more than one instance of deafening silence for this matchup. Let's see. No more than one. For sure. Hmm. Let's see then. Oh, we could put. Swords can come out, I guess? Four path and swords might be, might be where it's at. I'm actually gonna take a look at my deck list on here. Get a, a top down look. So we already have the Stony Silences, we already have Kataki. And the Kataki in the main board, which I'd be nice if you show up, bud. Uh, sword coming out, Deafening Silence coming in. So there's the one Deafening Silence from the main board. Here you are. Um, yeah. I mean, that's that looks like it's about it. And then coming from the side from the opponent's side board should be Warm Coral Engine, Ratchet Bomb. Uh, I would be very surprised to see Pithing Needles show up. Cranial Plating seems like the kind of card you want to bring in when you don't expect blockers to show up. So I would be surprised there, too. So, hi. Hi, person in medicine. Oh, no, it's not medicine commercial. It's a Gillette commercial. It's deodorant. 
I forget. I, Gillette's razors and deodorant, right? All right. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Slight distraction. Tiny distraction here. Um. Yeah. Let's let's go take out that sword. All right. Put that back in the sideboard, and we should be good to go. Look at you taking the initiative. Seven. Yeah. Thankfully, it shuffled each time. See when I finish shovel your deck. Okay. Well, now we don't get it, but oh, and we don't have fast mana either. Ah, uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. I mean, we we keep, but this is a a little less than ideal. Best of luck. Yeah, it's not fantastic, but we'll make it work. We'll see what they. Uh, we want to start off on the planes. Force them to have actual factual strip mine. If they play a creature, we can path it. Uh, and I I would be... On the play, Thorn makes sense in this matchup. On the draw, I could have taken it out, but I have so few cards. Like, I don't... I want Thorn on the play for me. Uh, I want it on the draw. Like, I run 29 creatures, they run 21. Ooh, Mox Pearl, oh boy. This Stony Silence might be looking tasty. And I guess that is sort of an upside to having, ooh, god, this weirdness going on. Oh, please, Warm Coil Engine. Oh, please, Warm Coil me. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, giant walking ballista. 3-3 three, three walking ballista. That counts as a giant. What do we have going on then? Oh, you! Well... Uh... Response. There we go. Gotta do it now. Alright. <laughs> I was gonna make a comment about, no, it's Path, but just being silly. Okay, well, Sphere is being a jerk, so, uh... Hmm... They only have two cards left. Do I want to use this Ghost Quarter? Or not... Oh, yeah, go, it'd be Ghost Quarter, not Strip Mine. Do I want to use this Ghost Quarter on it? Yes. Beep. It slows me down too, but I just sh they they're getting taxed by one, except that they don't have the two there. Although they have more lands to try to ramp their way out of it, so that could have that could have punished me. If I can get this stony silence down, oh, I think we win. If we can get the stony silence down, all right. What is it? Ooh. Yup. All right. Well, it, all the on the other hand, it would have been a three-three. Uh, all right. We definitely can't fire it here. We have to get this stone, this uh, stony silence down. Oh, jeez. Why am I itchy? It's alive. We do have a bunch of cards in there to fight them, and, uh, you know, this is one of them. No worries. <laughs> it's not technically correct, but who cares? It's fine. It's fine. Oh god, what is this? What shenanigans do you have now? I swear. Okay, okay, okay. This is fine. This is fine. We're about to turn it into just a plain old 1-1 one -one or force them to do it early. It's not fantastic, but we can make it work. 1-2. Alright, pass it to me. Alright, let's go. 
Alright, we can, uh, we can get it out, though. We can go, say, uh, I think we want to hide the strip mine. Maybe. I guess we can fire it off. We could go strip mine, use it to pay for the Mox Pearl, since it cost one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. But I'm about to just play a Stony Silence. I mean, <laughs> uh, we could theoretically use that to try to bluff them on something. I mean, it went not really, but maybe. Do they have any ways... Thinking. Do they have any ways to try to get rid of that? Ratchet Bomb, which they won't be able to use through Stony Silence anyway. So I guess it doesn't actually matter too much, does it? Hmm. And do I have any artifact synergies in my deck? And I think that the answer is no. No, I do not. All right. Uh, Friction Revoker would be nice, but it only shuts down one. Yep, okay, right, they're doing it now. All right. Oh, no response. Never mind, they're not. Pass turn. Okay. So th this is a 1-1. One, one. All right. Okay, that's a that's a factory. Factory ancient tomb. One, two, three. Take it. All right, two. Ah, eh, oh, okay, they they caught themselves. They caught themselves. All right, what two mana thing are we playing? Uh, I mean, so we can't name lands. Tricky. <laughs> this one is interesting. What would they name? Since I just played Stony Silence, they don't have to worry about naming my artifacts. Be because of that, aside from, like, what? Remorseful Cleric? <laughs> I mean, uh... That's a thing, I guess. Remorseful Cleric. Yeah, um... If there's ever a time to name Stormcrow... Mom doesn't do much. That's fair. She really doesn't. Yeah. Now, uh, give, Giver of Runes can't target itself, but Giver of Runes can protect from colorless. Stormcrow. <laughs> Why not? Alright, now, please, see if we can get something going. Okay. Let's see. Ah, itchiness. All the itchiness. I mean, I think we have to target... I, I think that the correct answer is to target the Stone Coral Serpent. I suspect that that's the correct answer. I'm open to being wrong, but, alright, now let's add a note, because, well, you know. Stone Core shenanigans. And, uh, since we're kind of ahead right now, I'm going to say... Oh... Uh... Mana or a creature? They can't play. They can't use the creature just yet. We're gonna put them off. Oh wait, they have no cards in hand. Uh, oh sh crap! I just I just let it go. Uh, crap! I've just left them with. All right, no, fine, that works. I I just yeah okay, that works. That's that was really weird. Um, <laughs> I don't know how I would have done that in paper because I'm over here debating like, I guess I would have said ancient tomb. In real life, there's a, I, there's a side of me that thinks I might have said Ancient Tomb. No, wait! Ah, oh, no, never mind, Ancient Tomb. I said it. Uh, so that happened. I guess. I guess. Alright, we will, we will block the uh, 
Ah. Oh. Well, they can't. They can't use it for uh, uh, the factory at least. So if I had left the factory, it'd be fine. Punt. No worries. You'll get there. Boop. All right. Stone coil <laughs> comes back as a zero zero. Checks the place out, then pieces out again. <laughs> <laughs> That's the lore. That's the lore. <laughs> That's what I'm going with, anyway. Alright, right on time, Thorn. Right on time. Uh, hmm. It, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. They can't cast... I mean, I guess it makes a difference for crane... No, they can't attach cranial plating. Um, <laughs> Sky Sovereign. It makes a difference for that. And they are actually getting kind of close to it. So maybe just to make sure that they don't have that as an out. Ooh. Or do I want to stick... I mean, they have no cards in hand. I'm playing around cards that they may draw. <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, done. Oh, yeah. So Sky Sovereign's definitely, it's 100% still on the list. They can't activate Mystic Forge, but they can still cast cards off the top. If I play the Thorn, if I don't play the Thorn, then they can get Mystic Forge and use it. If I do play the Thorn, then it caught, that's four plus one plus one. Or they could just draw another land. Let's, let's just get a creature out. It doesn't matter if I name Sky Sovereign. Uh, it doesn't matter what I name here. Unless they can get rid of, uh, of, uh, Stony Silence, which they can't, then, good. I'm going to say, <laughs> thinking of what to name. Mmm. How about... Mark Rosewater. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. Pass turn. Since it ba it doesn't matter, so why not? Why the heck not? Nice. Might as well have named Storm Pro. Oh no! Alright, so we have another 1-1 one, one Arcbound Ravager. Ravager. Uh... We're getting pretty close to the point where I should just add Luris to hand. Uh, the problem is that I can't cast Luris because of a uh, sphere. So I'm not inclined to spend. Wait, 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 wait. No activated abilities. So Ravager. Oh, you didn't sack to it. My bad. Yeah, I'm so used to that being something that they'll do in response. Actually, though, if that had been the case, I wouldn't have lost my creature, so... Never mind, we're just all... I'm... I got it now. I got it. I got it. Flagstones. Cool. If I need even more white mana, I can use strip mine there. Sure. But we are now at the point where I could use Luris. No one drops in the yard yet, though, so maybe not. Maybe not yet. Uh, so we will play you again. Okay. Add note. Yep. 
your mama. <laughs> I mean, why not? Uh, and then I said, I said, why is it not working? Oh, okay. We're not targeting it itself. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Eventually, anyway, we got there. All right. Mark Rosewater. Yo mama. What's another, what's another meme name I can use? Ah, we got something, maybe. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Lisa. Oh, hi. Yeah, let's just, let's just do the obvious play. Beep. Beep. That's the one. Uh, you know it. It, it, now that it actually doesn't matter, thanks to Stony Silence, it doesn't matter what I name, so I can just do whatever the heck I feel like. Um, <laughs> and then, pass turn. No. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> Why not? Oh, want to make sure I... Did I just... Yeah, I just drew. Okay. I didn't want to accidentally do that again. That would have been less than ideal. Even better. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm working on it. Alright. Main two. <laughs> we get to do it again. Why not? We get to do it again. Um, <laughs> the, the water, the, I'm just being, I'm having too much fun with this. <laughs> I'm naming Thanks Obama and Zawad. Okay. Oh no! Okay, I, I'm glad I called the Mystic Forge, but dang. Oh. I'm... <laughs> Glad that I had that uh, strip mine when I did. Jeez. All right, how do I reveal it? Reveal cards. There we go. What do you What you say? Oh, <laughs> I don't know if you played awful. That sounds too so bad. You did fine. You'll get to watch it again from my side. This deck was also made with shops especially in mind. Ooh, in mind. Since they're so ubiquitous. Ooh, boy. Should've checked that out. Yeah, you did. You were okay. I think, I think, I think you did alright. It's not as easy a deck to pilot as you might think. Just being able to sack the, the pearl into it would have maybe made a difference. It would have turned the Ravager into a 2-2 if that's all that you did. Yes. 100%. Even though it can get shut down. Um, don't forget that Chalice is not as good on the draw. I made that mistake. And it cost me game two. Well, I might have lost anyway. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll say that. I have lost anyway, but it hurts when I drew a mox. Also boarded out Thorn. Uh, fine on the play, 
bad on the draw. I have enough creatures that it's fine to take out entirely. Oh, yeah, the idea is that you want to try to shut down your opponent's turn one being so explosive. You know, Black Lotus, Mox, 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 Lotus. If I'm going so all in on fast mana that I'm running Lotus Petal, <laughs> you know, then you're... You, you're fine to have Thorn in against me. That said, I do run more creatures than actually my opponent does. Only 21 actual creatures, uh, not counting Sky Sovereign or Fleet Will Cruiser. So, no, so Warm Coils feel win more after I see how this played out. They're fine in Hate Bears matchups generally, but I have enough LD to stop you from getting there. So like, for example, if you're watching this Cheesy Puffy, if you're playing against, say, a, a normal um, Collector Ufi style, a Green-White, Selesnia, or Jund, or Junk, Obzon, uh, Hate Bears deck, then yeah, Warm Coil Engine makes a good bit of sense. But I'm running, because I'm monocolored, I get to have a little bit more leeway with my land base. I get to run the extra Ghost Quarters, not just Strip Mine for Wasteland. I get Ghost Quarter too. It makes it even harder for you to get enough mana for Warm Coil. Plus, I have Mainboard. <laughs> I have Mainboard Chalice to try to stop Moxen. I have Stony Silence Mainboard. Uh, you know, you, what would usually be the case is not what's going on here. Although, Stony Silence Mainboard for me, but if it's a green deck, they have Collector Ufi in the Mainboard. Uh, as a four of, too. Um, maybe those games were unusual. Just feel like you actually get going, there's no way to lose, but if you can answer in the right spot. Indeed, shops can be unbeatable after it sets up. That is 100% true. Maybe that's a Vinci's thing. Built-in non-bows. Um, yeah. Shops has to... What's a good way of putting it? Shops plays what would be mediocre creatures in other formats made good by the <laughs> hate pieces locking opponents out. Oh, I, I know what I meant to spell. It's weird, but it works. It's weird, but it works. It's kind of like, it reminds me how Death and Taxes in Legacy can lose to just, like, a standard aggro deck, or mid-range deck. That, because it's so specialized against Legacy, well, some of the weird cards in, in shops, some that are so good that they have to be, oh, I'll, uh, thanks. <laughs> You'll go report. <laughs> report to me. <laughs> I'm the TO. You're reporting. I mean, it's just for. It's just to make sure it stays. Uh, and you too. Thanks, and you too. Uh, so you have cards like Chalice, like Thorn, that are so specific in what they're meant to fight, that or Trinisphere even that when they're outside of that context, they're a little less than ideal. They're a lot less than ideal sometimes. Uh, which is why you have weird cards like Crystalline Giant. What the heck is this thing doing? Uh, actually, I'm not convinced that that makes the cut, but I can kind of see where they're coming from. If you have Ravager, you can put counters onto it and it gets sillier than some of the other cards in this. Uh, but, you know, Ravager, Crystalline Giant, Fleet Wheel Cruiser. I mentioned Slash Panther earlier. There's a, there was a time when that was a real thing. You know, as you do, the, the Slash Panther meta. <laughs> Alright. I guess that's going to do it for now. I, I appreciate getting to jam some games against a cheesy puppy. I like your Untitled Goose Game. I'm, I'm convinced this is Untitled Goose Game. Because I love that game. Alright, and uh... Ni I, yeah, rip, 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 rip. Nice PFP by the way. Just just throw out a compliment and make somebody's day. Go for it too. Make somebody's day. Tell them they, they tell them you like their shirt.
Tell them you like their Jesus hairdo and beard. Tell them you like the fact that they're playing a mono white deck as they're playing as they're being Jesus. Doing a Jesus cosplay. No, maybe maybe not that, but you get the idea. Alright, and uh yeah, that'll that'll do it. Take care, Magic Community. I guess I'll catch y'all later. Adios. Bye-bye.